benefit of an extra dusting of snow overnight just to freshen things up a little bit. Very nice. I've got freight waiting for me up in Toulon today. That's one hour, one hour north of where we're at, uh, where our yard is. Probably about a half hour north of the north side of Winnipeg. So it's not too far off. Uh, we've got some freight there headed down to Pennsylvania, I believe. Got to go drag that on back to the yard. There's a highway driver that's going to hook onto that and bring it down there for them. Pennsylvania is a fun place to go trucking through as long as you don't get lost on their back roads. Okay, their back roads get a little squirrely. If you get off the interstate onto their little two lane roads through the mountains and through the hills and you take a wrong turn or you miss your turn, good luck finding a place to turn around a 75 foot unit. You're gonna have to go for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and hopefully you don't end up at a dead end, a low bridge, or a residential zone. <laughs> if you're going to Pennsylvania, best thing is make sure you know where you're going first. But I'm not from Pennsylvania. I'm not even from the United States. For those of you who are new, welcome here. Uh, everything you need to know about me is all down below in the description of my videos. You can scroll down there and check it out. I live in Manitoba. It's a province of Canada. We live... Uh, straight north of western Minnesota and eastern North Dakota. You take Interstate 29 straight up right into my province of Manitoba and it'll take you right to our capital Winnipeg. And that's around the region where I'm working right now. So it's a little bit of a cold uh, agriculture based area. We're in winter right now but in summertime we also do get very hot as well. Those of you who've been following me for years have been able to see that. But anyways if you're new Welcome here. You're all welcome. Uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. We make new videos pretty much every day. Monday to Friday, sometimes weekends. Not consistently every single day, but most daily. Most daily vlogs. Mostly daily vlogs, I should say that. Mostly daily vlogs. But yeah, I'd love for you to hang out. We're on vlog, what, 2,421 now, I think? So you got a little bit of catching up to do. Or you can start from right here. It's actually a really nice day today. Got a little bit of snow overnight, but it's about zero Celsius right now, around about 32 Fahrenheit. So it's not nearly as cold as it has been. It's not nearly as cold as it will be. So it's gonna be a good day. are coming uh, before I can see them, right? That way I'm familiar. If I'm not quite familiar with the area, I can get a little bit of an advantage and see where I'm going. I, I, I don't go very far anymore to, to places that I'm not used to going to. But if I were to, then yeah, I'd uh, use GPS to direct me. But I do recommend always having a GPS. Pretty much everyone has a GPS in their truck already, right? I remember when I was a kid driving with my dad on the road and he still used those big Atlas maps. I still have a couple of them. He has a bunch of them, I'm sure. And that's how we found ourselves around. He had a little pen that you could roll along the highway and it would show you how many miles it was, how many kilometers it was, how far it was. Yeah. Those are the old days, but we have progressed forward and things have gotten a lot better in trucking. A lot better. Now, when I'm going to a customer that I'm not familiar with, I have a, a GPS that will guide me right to their driveway. I can double check my GPS's work, make sure it's not gonna take me through an area I'm not supposed to go through, but it'll, it'll guide me straight there. And if I'm unsure, hmm, how do I get into their yard? What does their building look like? What kind of building am I looking for? I can go onto Google Street View and go right on the street as if I'm driving past it already and see what the area looks like so I know what, what I'm looking for when I get there that I'm not trying to figure it out as I go. I don't gotta ask directions anymore or anything. It's, it's, it's a lot better, a lot better. Okay. So I gotta hook up to trailer 604. Uh, it's a roll tight, uh, 53 foot flat roll tight. Tri axle with a lift axle, I believe. Let's go find it. 
before we leave here, I'm just gonna check, double check, make sure my lights are working. Today, though it's supposed to be pretty warm all day okay it's gonna be a roll tight a blue one I see one right here let's see if this is the one we're looking for I think that's it 604 that's our trailer for today that we have it was uh, refurbished last summer so it's in really good condition it's got our logo on the back there you can sort of see it through there this is our newest one everything's looking good there's no holes in it that's good you guys have been taking care of it fantastic so let's go fill it up with freight shall we it's gonna be fun turned our roll tight flat into a uh, open deck step deck because I'm a wizard we're done with the first load uh, we hooked on to 118 now we've got to bring it out to Blumenort and pick up a couple of pieces for our yard here so apparently we've got new bunks for some of our trailers uh, they're for hauling logs they're those pillars on that go up put it in simple terms, on the log trailers, those posts that go up on either side of the trailer, you have two per trailer or two per load, and then you put the logs in the middle. We've got 
gotten four more of those built, so two more of our trailers can be outfitted to haul logs or poles. So I'm just gonna lay these things flat on the deck and just tie them down. I don't think I actually have to like place them, like set them up. If they're the same kind that we already have, if they're just sort of duplicates or like the same people made them, uh, you use a forklift to install them and take them off and it's much easier. I'd have to show you that sometime. But it should be pretty straightforward. Hopefully it's not too complicated. But whatever, whatever it is, I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll get her done. Bluminort. Good old Bluminort. I had a friend who lived right there during school. Passed one of my other friend's houses over there. I had a friend who lived over here. This whole development down here wasn't even here when I went to school in this town. All the way down there, that's all new houses. There, where's the road? There's the road. All brand new houses. I used to live in one of those little, uh, one of those three buildings there that are exactly the same behind my mirror now. One of those three buildings. I used to live in one of those. Oh, over 10 years ago. Yeah, it was 12 years ago. And Peterbilt right here. Southeast Manitoba's Peterbilt. Right here in Blumenart. And we're getting a new Freightliner dealership as well. I gotta talk to Andy over at Kenworth and say, hey, we need a branch in Steinbach too. Us people in the Southeast, we need a little, uh, you know, we need a little Kenworth in our lives. Maybe I can work something out with him. <laughs> right now, if you want to do anything with Kenworth, you got to go all the way to the other northwest corner of Winnipeg. And that was Blumenort, right there. Right there, and for the grand finale, the traffic light. Very nice. Ah, now I want to try not to get my truck all dirty. I got to go down this service road. There's Highway 12 right there. Got to go down the service road to get to this place. We're just gonna take our sweet time because the last time I went flying down a road like this, my truck got covered in like an inch of mud. I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but I know the truck's dirty. It's winter time, but I, I try to keep the majority of it off if I can. I'm really gonna clean these. I just wiped these mirrors. Seems that all I did was just wipe the dirt around didn't actually get the dirt off of it. I have to do that again. It's just up here. If it's the place I'm thinking of anyways. A lot of four lane divided highways in Manitoba have these service roads that run alongside it. This is the road uh, that the farmers are supposed to use, you know, when they go to their farms and such and so that they can keep their big farm equipment off of the main highway and you know, prevent accidents and stuff. And you got your own service road for the farmers. It's also for the people living along here so that they don't have driveway access right onto the busy highway as well. So there's actually four roads here. There's only three here, but once you get around the corner up there, there's service road, then there's northbound, then southbound, and then the other service road. So there's one, two, three, four roads that run parallel to each other. See, like these guys, they live in there. It's a beautiful house. Their driveway connects with the service road. That way they don't have to uh, risk getting onto a busy highway right off their driveway, you know? <laughs> these are not for mirrors. They don't work well. <laughs> That's all we got right now. I gotta bring some more paper towels to work. Okay, hopefully that'll be better. It just sort of smears it around, eh? I'll show you the load that I just picked up. It's just like four bunks, just like I told you. I'll show you how I tied them down here. There you go. See, I belly wrapped them both. So they're both being sucked together. Also, this is putting pressure on it and sucking them in. Did another belly wrap on the center too, so that they're not wobbling in the center. Everything is tight, locked down, ready to hit the road. Hopefully my mirror will be a little bit better. Excuse 
Excuse me. Don't let the government hear you sneeze. It's been actually a fairly relaxing day. We're almost 3.30 now, so the day is winding down. I guess we'll find out. I shouldn't speak too soon. <laughs> I haven't got back to the yard yet. When we might not even be close to winding down yet, but nah, I'm assuming we're probably starting to wind down soon. And it's been a nice, comfortable temperature all day. As you can see, all the snow's been melting off the roads. Don't gotta worry about ice anywhere. I don't even have to wear my winter jacket. Just got my sweater on. It's a good late fall day. Now to get across my uh, favorite little intersection here. 3.30 on a Wednesday, shouldn't be too bad. Now let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, I got a stretch now. Oh, no, that side is not clear. After that pickup is clear though. Oh, nope, not clear here though. Wouldn't want that guy to T-bone me. That would hurt. Okay, after that car maybe. Nope, more vehicles coming over the hill. I went around this way on the way back from Blumenor because I had to grab fuel. And I had to stop at Petro Pass at Deacon's Corner for that on the east side of Winnipeg. But that brought me up to this intersection here. I could have probably given her and gone across here, but I don't feel like dying today. All right, after that car. Yep, after that car, we're going for it. Oh boy, here we go, here we go, sending it. No problem, whoa, <laughs> all my napkins, shoot. Oh, that's not something that happens every day. There you go, some excitement. I had a bunch of napkins from Subway that I was keeping up up here. I guess the wind sucked them out of there. That wasn't so bad. You know, that intersection is actually not that bad. You know, as long as you're careful and you watch yourself. It's, I mean, it's unnecessary the way they put it together, but it's not that bad. I hype it up a little bit. The only time it's really bad is at the peak of rush hour in the afternoon when everybody's headed home. It's probably bad in the rush hour uh, when everybody's going into the city too. I mean, just any rush hour. I don't know what I'm saying here. I don't know what I'm saying. It's almost time to go home. I'm getting tired. Just got a phone call from the load gods, or from my load god, specifically. Yeah, let me know. I got another overnight coming this Friday. Yes! I tried not to act too excited. <laughs> Leaving Friday and I got a deliver in Saskatchewan on Saturday morning and then come back. So, I mean, it's, it's Saskatchewan, but when you haven't been to Saskatchewan in over a year, even Saskatchewan sounds a little bit exciting to me, okay? We're excited. We're going to Saskatchewan Friday. Friday to Saturday, all right? Pack a bag, you're coming with me. Nipawin, Nipawin, Saskatchewan, that's where we're going. Looks like it's about an eight to nine hour drive. 793 kilometers, looks like I'll take the Yellowhead Trans Canada from Portage La Prairie up into Saskatchewan through Yorkton up to Saskatchewan 35. And that'll take me all the way up to uh, Nippawin, 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 N-I-P-A-W-I-N, Nippawin for the win, Nippawin. Uh, so I'll be driving out there Friday, I'm guessing. Get there Friday evening, sleep there. Saturday morning they want to unload me, and then I drive back and I'll be back here Saturday evening, have Sunday off and Monday, be back at it. Tomorrow, I'm going up to Toulon, first thing again. I gotta grab one more piece, just like what I just loaded in the, the first load. Gotta bring it back here. And then I might be going down to Minnesota tomorrow yet. I hope so, we'll see. It's gonna be fun either way. I'm gonna go park my truck now. I think it's time to park. No, I gotta go park the trailer first.
glad you guys hung on. I was scared you were gonna fall off. Good job. Another day done. Feel good about it. It was a good day. We got stuff done. Now for my rock star welcome. Just let me prepare myself. Yes. You can hear him over there already, right? <laughs> Chevy's always first out of the gate. You'd be a great race horse, man. Yeah, I need to go get my toy to show you what happened. Where are you? Where are you? Hey, Diesel. Diesel, where'd you go? Daisy, you're not Diesel. I'm Chevy. Hi. Am I on TV? Hi. Yeah, we're free. Or you smell like diesel fuel. That's right. That's right. Hello. Hello, father. It smells like you had a good day's work bringing home the bacon. Thank you very much. Speaking of bacon, when's supper? I'm going to bring my bone. No, Diesel, you're going to leave that here. Wiener, come on. Come on, you got to be at the front, little guy. Come on. Come on, figure it out. There you go. Let's go. Come on, Diesel. Leave your bone. Good. Good, 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 good. Come on. Come on. All the way back. Frank. Nope. No. No peeing here. Go to the yard. Thank you. All right. I always got to chase him through. I always want to make a mess on my patio furniture over there. That's the, it's against the rules. No peeing on my patio furniture. Well, there's not many rules, but that's one of them. It goes for humans too. I hate it when that happens. Stay away from my patio furniture. All right, now to get all my gear off. Get in the shower. One of the best parts of the day, if I say so myself. The number one best part is going to bed. I'm in my 30s now. I look forward to bedtime. <laughs> when I wake up, there's another day of trucking ahead of us. And tomorrow, like I was saying, uh, hey, you like my shirt? My wife got it for me. Never laugh at your wife's choices. You are one of them. She makes pretty good choices, I think. Now, what was I saying? Tomorrow. Uh, like I said, gotta go to Toulon. I think I told you that already. Grab a piece up there, one 20 foot piece or something. Bring that back and then I might be going down to Minnesota. Not too far down, about uh, just, I think it's four hours south. Three hours, not, not, not as far as we, uh, to Thief River, you remember that. We drove through there on Saturday. Going back there tomorrow possibly, we'll see. Does that taste good, Chevy? That taste good? Yeah, it tastes like chicken. It's like a big drumstick and he comes everywhere I go. Doesn't that hurt when you bite your foot? Wait, that was my leg? Yeah, it's your foot. It's attached to your leg. So you're saying it's not chicken. That's very sad. Very sad me. I feel like howling. Should I howl? You wanna howl? Okay, I'll start, Chevy. old man. Diesel, you were doing very good there. You want to try one more time? Okay. <clears throat> you ready? Frank, you're ruining it over there. That's the point. Anyways, we'll send you guys off on that note. 
I would say it was a very, what is it, E flat, maybe? One more time, Chevy. See if Frank will ruin it again. Stay quiet, Frank. We're singing. Okay, Chevy. <laughs> did it now y'all did i'm gonna have to come here and hi you you all right who's first who's first i'm gonna nail you with my karate moves well diesel i think you're very right yesterday you said we're a weird family chevy i think he was right